Greetings. Today is New Year's Eve 2022. I'm Barb. This is my channel, B Rex the PR Goddess One. I am also nicknamed the Hot Mess and the Glamazon, and my ever growing beauty skincare, hair care, nail care, accessory collection is also known as the Hot Mess, the Beauty Horde. You know. Okay, so now that we've covered that, this is kind of a wrap up video for the year. I am sitting here personally giving myself the first, at least polish change in a while. These guys lasted a good 12 days. And then yesterday they started like flaking. This is where I had that injury when I was doing Christmas grocery shopping on the 23rd where the whole nail folded in half. So it was about time that the whole piece that was damaged finally flaked off. Um, over here, I accidentally nicked the nail polish <laughs> with the knife when I was cooking. So there was that. And, um, this piece lifted last night, just randomly the nail polish. I've been doing a lot of dishes. I try to do them with my um, gloves on, but when I was doing dishes at my uncle's and aunt's on um, the 28th, I had to do them without gloves because those people are, f I love them, but they're fucking barbarians in that. First of all, your hot water heater is set to either boil the flesh off the dead crusader or freeze the dead crusader for shipping back home from the Levant to Western Europe. So you either boil or freeze. And they had no gloves. So after that is when I noticed nail damage. So when people tell you, you use nail, hand cream and nail cream and cuticle oils, plus always wear gloves when using harsh chemicals or washing dishes. Like don't do bathroom cleaning without gloves on. Don't mop without gloves on. Don't do anything that has to do with water and or chemicals without gloves on. Other than, you know, shower. Because I don't think you're going to wear dishwashing gloves in the shower. Because that would be weird. I mean, but you do you. I don't judge. So, yeah. So the proof is in the pudding because only after that did my nails start lifting. And this, by the way, is just a little bit of um, cotton ball with the uh, the acetone stuck to it. Because I was I started with the polish change on the toes. And now I'm going to take it off here. I'm thinking, thinking, I'm thinking. I'm... Anyway, I'm going to continue to take off my chip nail polish and fix my nails. Because I got home last night, kind of late about 10 30 from a friend's house and uh i was tired because again i didn't sleep right the other night from an imbalance of the coffee to water system also known as me so i'm just going to take this off i'm going to trim down the damaged pieces file them down i'm not going to paint them right now because someone yeah well whatever i'm not even going to get into it it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because yeah anyway so all I have to say is I uh, I hope everyone else is getting ready for their New Year's, because I seem to be. And may 2022 find you with what you need in, let me start, 2023, find you with what you need in life that 2022 didn't. Good riddance to the bad. Welcome to the good. And, you know, I know I just have to say this in case people don't recognize it. Life always has to be a balance of good and bad, because if it was all good, no one would know to appreciate it. Oh, there goes one of the cats. So yeah, so I'm just going to take off the nail polish, chit chat with you. I have a whole list of things to do in the next, what well, was supposed to be today, tomorrow. We'll see how that works out. Also, if anyone was following along, I took the advice on New Year's Eve last year to start the, the jar of weekly things that are positive or that were good to you in the year. And I used an old cat treat jar after I ran it through the dishwasher or it was said it was run through the dishwasher, whatever. I just put a sticker on it. It just said weekly notes on positive things. And what you're supposed to do on New Year's Eve is take them all out of the jar and read them out to yourself to remind yourself of all the good things that happened in the year. I want to take it a year extra. I want to rewrite those in a journal just so that way I can say twenty two year uh, the year 2022 at a glance, weekly breakdown. And I've been writing, it used to originally be on whatever scraps of paper or small notebooks I found, but I figured out that really a large sticky works for me. I've been using the ones that are about three by five. I know they make them a little bit bigger, four by six with lines. I have one of those. I think I'm going to use that this year because I find that they fold up nicely to, to cause you don't want them open and hanging out in there. You could probably do it without a jar, put it in a notebook, but I like the jar concept because then if it's just one thing, like got a compliment today, you know, 
you could just put that in there. If you want to write longer, you can. So if for you, it's something as small as that, go for it. But I highly recommend it. This is my first year doing it. I have a girlfriend that was doing it alongside me, but she dropped out in June because of just life issues. And that's fine. And, uh, you know, all I have to say is, may your life issues and your family issues and everything else, work issues, friend issues, pet issues, child issues, resolve for the best. After he gets out of the shower, I'm going to have to have words with him again as far as, like, what's going on. Because he's not happy with me. He must have woken up on the wrong side of the bed. Anyway. I was allowed to sleep in. I do that every now and then. Normally, I just get up on my own. I was very pleased that this time he got up, fed the cats, opened their window, made coffee, all without bothering me. Which is fine, because he's not a bother. But, you know, sometimes he'll stop and say when he gets up before me, if I'm sleeping in, I'm getting up, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. Which is fine. Although I would prefer that you just do it like you did today, where you just get up and do these things without having to announce it. Which is fine. I mean, you know, neither one of us is a household project manager. We're just basically roommates, you know? Like, you should just take it on yourself to do stuff. And sometimes he does. And then other times are better than, sometimes are less better. Let's leave it at that. And I'm sure I'm the same because I am an imperfect, flawed bitch. But, hey. Oh, I also wanted to say that for pure, for holographic or shimmer nail polish, glitter nail polish, anything that isn't just a flat cream or gel, like the jelly, crelly kind of finish, I really find that 100% acetone does the job best, fastest, quickest, with the least amount of cotton balls. However, and I, it's a huge however... It will dry the fuck out of your nails. So what I really recommend is do not immediately just paint them because you're going to really just mummify your nails and then eventually they're not going to be happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do my clipping and my filing and my shaping. And then after I get out of the shower, because I have not yet showered, yes, I slept in today and I woke up and I tried to organize a few things and here we are here we are but I'm impressed because I got the nail polish off of everything with less than four cotton balls it only took me two cotton balls for the toe when that was just a straight shimmer so I'm feeling kind of happy oh funny side note I wanted to show you guys my aunt found my old high school oh, high school or were they early college glasses? This is before they had the super ultra thin. And this was a way weaker prescription. I think these are negative eights. These are super ultra thin. And these are negative nine and change. Look at the difference in the lens. This is ultra high def thin. And this is where we are now. Can you see the difference? I think you can. But let's just for shits and giggles. Because my aunt was like, maybe you want to reef lens those. I don't like how these sit on my face. On my touching my cheek. This always used to give me irritation here. These would be nice as a sunglass, maybe, but that would be about it. So I kind of keep these to remember what I used to go through as a child. I mean, she only gave them to me the other day when we were down in Jersey. Versus this. See that space on the face? No line to cause acne. I love it. But these, I just have to look at that. As far as like a funny memory. Also, I got my monthly Evolve Mala, the bracelets upstairs. And this month it was aquamarine, citrine, and clear quartz. <clears throat> Still, this is one of the monthly things I'm not going to cancel. I also received, this is just a little wrap up, my Walmart beauty box for the winter. So we're going to look at this later. That'll be a separate video. I also got some of the straggler items from my... Um, my Amazon. So I got my True Match Super Blendable Under Eye Concealer in the Neutral 5.6 because I like that. It has a slight bit of pink, which is good for under the eye. And let me see. This is my packing slip, correct? Yes, it is. And God forbid it has the price or anything on it, so I cannot actually get the... Um, Fetch is just, a, I love Fetch, but I hate Fetch because it won't let me add all of my individual accounts. So I never get any credit for my Sephora, my Ulta. It has to only be anything that's on a specific email. I think right now they're only reading Gmail. I don't use my Gmail for any of that. I use my old Yahoo and my old 
AOL because again, I'm a million years old. Besides that, oh, I got my last Uoma, which I might have mentioned to you. I was just really happy because they had said that they were out of stock on a specific item, which was the um, Batter Boom Natural Volumizing Mascara, and they were gonna, they asked if it was okay to ship my order without it, and I said, yeah, sure. They said, can we switch it for something that is equal vo uh, value? I said, yeah, go for it. And then they actually sent me what they were going to skip me for, so that's funny. But I got some other stuff in here, including a duplicate, because if you like it once, I guess you're going to like it twice, of the Honey Honey Tan Too Warm Uoma Beauty Foundation. So that was a mistake. Um, I got the, the, tr the, the, the Trip and Smooth Powder. I already bought, had bought it before in the... Um, well, we'll talk about that later. That's fine. I'm getting all sidetracked. So this evening, I'm going to be writing these out painting nails and um, trying not to get into cranky fights for no reason with my husband. Oh, yeah. Also, I don't know if you guys remember, but at one point, the Olsen twins, Ashley and Mary Kate, used to have a perfume line. And this was their uh, Elizabeth and James line. This is Elizabeth and James Nirvana, which is oak wood, vanilla bourbon, and tuberose. I'm not into rose scented things, but this one always smelled nice because it smelled like spicy bourbon. I had the half size like this that had come in an ornament from Sephora, used it up, and now they don't carry it anywhere at Ulta or Sephora anymore. Now you got to get it on Amazon. So you got to hope it's not counterfeit. So let's pray on that. And the last thing I got was I had tried to order my $15 of L'Oreal stuff from Walmart so I could get my credit for it. But two, well, as usual, this is why I hate Walmart. One of the things was out of stock. They don't tell you until they go looking for it. So we have the powder that I finally got, which was the Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock. I have their liquid. I have their concealer. I have the lipsticks. This is the shade Matador that I finally indulged in. So this is going to be today's red lipstick of the day. So I can just put that on because that'll come off easy. And I don't have to worry about if I come home at one o'clock in the morning from my mother-in-law's that I am too tired to wash my face. Also, I am breaking out over here. As you can tell, it's probably stress. And um, on top of that, uh, I'm still a little congested. The weather has been up and down. Anybody who knows, we have not had normal weather in the U.S., all month it's been up in the 70s down below zero or at zero you know up in the 40s back down to the 20s up in the 60s back down to the 30s so since the weather is like a hooker's underwear bad choice of words up and down like oprah's weight in the 80s maybe that might be better yeah there's a lot going on i'm tired spiritually emotionally ecumenically grammatically thank you so I just kind of want to go through my list. I want to do a little bit of my stuff. I want to read my adult children of emotionally immature parents. So that way, not only can I help others, but I can help myself. And this book. Now, this is supposed to be the 2020 edition. I know that there's a similar book that my friend Sarah got and then gave to my friend Danielle for 2023. And it was hardcover where this is soft. It was way thicker. And it actually had prompts. This one was supposed to have prompts. Look at this. There's nothing in here. All it says on the bottom of each page, because basically, sorry, you get a this book belongs to you bubble to color in. And then every other page says your notes and drawings and little arrows up there. That's not helpful. This is not prompts. But hopefully with my colored pencils and my beautiful skin tone markers and my artist's holiday calendar well, I'm not making my little things in there or even I don't know this might be too much the watercolor pencils are gonna need water that book is not thick enough for water in the end maybe I'll be able to make a go of it but right now I have to wait for him to get out of the shower I have to go in the shower myself and then um I get to do some stuff so let me let you go. I've been rambling. I'm uploading my first rambling from the other day. And uh, actually from yesterday. Jesus Christ, why does it feel like 12 years ago? And I'm sorry. When we're tired, we say shit that is rude. I'm not apologizing for me, but I'm trying to apologize for other people. And uh, I'm just glad I have my candles lit. I'm going to wear my Labradorite. 
I'm going to try to see this year in nice and right where I don't, I'm just pushing back my cuticles for anything that is like, because I notice that when mine grow, the skin gets kind of like pulled. So I just kind of want it up so it doesn't do that. And who knows, maybe I'll put a little bit of hand cream on. So while I'm getting ready to get in the shower, at least I'll have something to absorb. Yeah. But if you are going to a party or you're just staying home to chill or whatever it is you're doing for New Year's, I wish you a happy New Year. I wish you joy, success, happiness, love, safety, lots of health, financial security, a roof over your head, if That's whatever kind of roof. Hey, if you want to be in a converted vehicle to tour the world, hey, that's still a roof over your head. Just safety, love, peace. And uh, I, maybe eventually I'll figure myself out so I can answer those deep questions that my therapist posed to me and uh, not end up doing things that I look back on five years later and go, why the fuck did I do that? Why do I let people make decisions for me? And right about now, it's because sometimes when posed with difficult questions, I have no answers. And I think my family did the best they could with what they had, but their expectations, they came from a survival mode section. We're no longer in survival mode in the 21st century. Not the same way. Things have changed. You know, we've gone from 100 years ago, more agrarian to more modernized as far as like equipment and living conditions. So the things that worked for my grandmother, who was born in the early 1900s and my grandfather born in the 1890s, that they instilled in my mom and my aunts do not necessarily carry over to somebody living in the 2020s. So I'm having to relearn how to keep the important values and lessons of generations going back to my great grandparents, who are the 1850s, 1860s, I guess, all the way to now, while staying true to myself, staying true to my culture, staying true to my living space, my relationships, my job, my career, my everything. I want to be true to me, what's in here, but sometimes I don't know how to interpret what's in here or in here. So maybe this will be the year where these things start to happen more easily. But remember, everything is growth. It does. It's not all or nothing. It's not a destination. It's a journey, as uh, Aerosmith says when they talk about life. So I got to remember, I'm just on a different journey today or tomorrow as the year changes. Tonight, whatever. I got to go. I got to lay my shit out for tonight before I end up in an argument that could have been avoided if everybody had proper sleep schedules, proper eating schedules, proper water, and some exercise. Yeah. Oh, and healthy boundaries. Did I mention healthy boundaries? That's something we're continually working on, and others need to also. But when, when the tables are tight, I always have this that I bought for myself and my friends. And maybe I need to bring that one with me, too. But I don't know. All right. With, with much love to all... And harm to none. I set the all free. Catch you in 2023.